link inputs and outputs. Each Zone Pro model has a link input and link output. These connections can carry up to six channels of audio through a standard straight through Cat5 cable. Here's the color code which we recommend, which conforms to the EIA TIA 586B standard. Linking or cascading multiple Zone Pros together using these link output and link input connections allow you to expand your available outputs or zones. However, this does not expand your input capabilities. When using a Zone Pro 640 or 641, all six inputs will be fed to the link output connection. Also, these models will accept up to six audio channels at their link input connection. When using a 640M or 641M, the first two mic line inputs and both pair of RCA inputs will be fed to the link output connection. Also, these models will accept up to four audio channels at their link input connection. Using the 1260 or the 1261, the first six inputs will be fed to the link output connection. This would be the ML1 and ML2 inputs, along with the first four pairs of RCAs, which are labeled S1 through S4. Also, these models will accept up to six audio channels at their link input connection. Using the 1260M or the 1261M, the first two mic line inputs and all four pairs of RCA inputs will be fed to the link output connection. Also, these models will accept up to six audio channels at their link input connection. This table shows which inputs will be fed out of the link outputs for each Zone Pro model. It also shows which input channels are accepted at the link input for each Zone Pro model. Basically, most of the Zone Pro models will send and receive the ML1 and ML2 inputs and the S1 through S4 inputs. The exception is the 640M and 641M Zone Pro models. These two models send and receive only four channels of audio through the link input and output connections. These input channels are the ML1 and ML2 inputs and S1 and S2. Here we see a Zone Pro 1260 or 1261. Therefore, the first six inputs will be fed out of the link output of the first device and into the link input of the second 1260 or 1261. Basically, this is like wiring the audio connections from the first device down to the second device for the first six inputs. Therefore, you would not want to plug any audio sources into any of the first six inputs on this second or linked device. However, there are jumpers on the main board for enabling or disabling the link input or link output function for the first two mic line inputs. From the factory, these jumpers come pre-configured in the enabled position. These jumpers can be configured independently between the ML1 and ML2 inputs. Setting the link output jumpers to the disabled position on the first Zone Pro device would break the audio connection between the ML1 and ML2 inputs and the link output. You can also disable these jumpers on the second device or the receiving device. Setting the link input jumpers to the disabled position on the second Zone Pro device would break the connection between the link input and the ML1 and ML2 inputs. This comes in handy when you want to connect different sources to the ML1 and ML2 inputs on the second device. In other words, you don't want the ML1 and ML2 inputs on this second device to receive the signal from the ML1 and ML2 inputs on the first device through the link I.O. connection. Any available inputs you have left can still be used. However, any sources plugged into these available inputs 
will only feed audio to the outputs of the Zone Pro in which they are connected. In other words, this audio will not be fed to the link output connections. The audio between the link output and link input connections is one way only. It travels in the direction from link output to link input. This link connection sends audio information only. It does not send network data information or zone controller information. Therefore, for ZC control, each zone controller must be plugged into the Zone Pro in which it will control. When linking the Zone Pro devices together, we recommend keeping the Cat5 cable length below 25 feet. Typically, we don't recommend linking more than three Zone Pro devices. The main reason is because these larger installations can get extremely complex very quickly. If the installation starts looking a little bit too complex for the Zone Pro models, please take a look at the DBX SysCore product line, as well as BSS Audio's SoundWeb Original and SoundWeb London product lines.